If we wanna have a really awesome garden this year, we have got to do something about these poultry. They are out free ranging, which is an awesome thing, but I know, and Rose knows, and we all know what chickens will do to our garden, so we need to protect it somehow. A while back, we bought these slats. We got about 10 of them. They are four by 14, and they are the main components to our structure, building this awesome chicken coop. So now is the time. I've got to pull them all out, get them set up to where we want our chicken coop to go. They are heavy, using the tractor and my trailer. I'm gonna pull these things to the position that we want and we're gonna get started building the chicken coop. Let's go. You got a helper? Yeah, she does what she can, which is not much. Hey, Tiz. What are you doing, silly? Oh, yeah, you like that. All right, so Ryan has been busy this morning getting these walls put together. Four foot wall on top of a four foot wall, making it eight feet total. Wow, that's a tall wall. Pretty tall. So now we've got to put the rest of these sections together and get them lifted up. It's going to be a little more of a challenge than that end piece because putting them together upside down, then we have to lift them up and then we're going to have to walk them and set them in the position they're supposed to be in. Yeah, that's not hard at all because they're light as a feather, right? It's a challenge. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Now, Bowser, you must give me your word that you will not try to knock down these walls in between weekends when we can work on it. Okay? You promise me. You'll be a good boy. No rubbing hard on these walls. Don't loosen them up. Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. As long as you rub my belly. Flop. <laughs> the coony flop, the coony belly flop. You're such a good boy. You're a good boy. I love my baby. So we were lucky enough to acquire these slats from a chicken coop uh, in a town a little bit down the road from us. They're four by 14 feet. I'm putting them together to create an eight foot by 14 foot wall and we're building our chicken coop. So first I have to put the pieces together. So two slats together, I'm just putting in a lot of deck screws all the way down and a couple support boards so we could safely lift it.
die no more in Jesus' name. Well, I think this is going to have to do for now until we can do the full huge build. But pretty impressive so far, if you ask me. This is a 14 foot by 28 foot aviary chicken run. Of course, with lumber prices the way they are right now, we're not going to be able to put a roof on it yet. But hopefully in the future it will have that. And we are going to build a barn coop on this end of the structure. But for right now, we just need to get the chickens out of the garden. So we're setting up an area for them to roost at night with the pallet shelter. We got a shade cloth for a little extra shade. We got a tarp to throw over this for when it rains. And that's gonna have to do for now, but pretty awesome, I think. They've got a little extra area to run out here. I think they're gonna like it. gosh you finally got her she thought she was on you had to dive for that one I did. oh my goodness <laughs> you are a hard one to catch everybody else we got in and this one sent all three of us me and daddy and liam running around like chickens with our head cut off trying to catch her don't say that you might scare her she might have ended up like that if i didn't catch her we did it we did it. We got all of our chickens in one place. And they are checking it out and liking it so far. What do you think? <laughs> eh, it's a little uh, thrown together, but it will work for now. And we've got all of the chickens in here couple of the roosters we have a couple of roosters out still and the ducks are out so we will see how that goes and possibly put them in as well if they start to get in the garden but for now that'll work so obviously any chicken that truly wants to get out will be able to perch up here and jump out but it should reduce the number of chickens in the yard and the ones that would go in my garden and if we do find culprits that like to fly out we will clip one wing so that they are not able to jump up there and get out yeah they definitely can't jump over there no that's too high for them yeah i'm hoping they won't jump on that because it's it's so floppy that they won't like it because it's not secure but it's just a temporary setup. Keep them dry and out of my garden. Oh, leave them alone. Liam said, I'm going in because I'm the chicken whisperer. I'm going to make him a bed out here. He can sleep with the chickens. Our sweet Muscovy Drake that we got from Cog Hill Farm. Mary Carl gave us this nice Drake. Robert brought him to us. And we've called him Dr. Drake. So he's liking it out here. He's got some other Muscovy friends. 
Cut out my movie. <laughs> well, hello there. Ooh, la la. Hello, ladies. Do you like when I do this dance with my tail? <laughs> Let me go see if the other ladies at the watering trough like it. I'll go check them out. <laughs> I love the way they waddle. Ducks are the best. Muscovies in particular. First morning checking on the aviary. I am kind of loving this. Uh, the roosters are sad that they didn't get put away last night. I think we'll try to catch them today. It looks like everybody found the perch is okay. Hi, you're still perching, Squirty Birdie? Oh. We'll see if they lay some eggs today. They might be a little nervous after being caught and not lay for a couple of days, but I think we should see a lot more eggs from now on.